Hey there, this is Mara and welcome back to my Art Break Life. Thank you so much for joining me on my little art break this evening. And what I wanted to work on today for this day nine of my thankful vlogmas is my, I wanted to go back and play a little bit more, around more with my little Zilla concept because I think he's really cute and he reminds me of my kids. And so <laughs> I decided to give it a theme this time. And I, so I wanted to use music because I, I'm a band geek through and through. I grew up um, playing in band since my uh, sixth grade year. And right now, currently, my, my eldest son is in band as well. And the bad part about this situation is that he's not doing so well because he chose, or he was given an instrument that he, I don't, I'm not familiar with, and he had no idea how to play. And um, because of COVID, band directors i don't blame them they're, they're very limited as to how they can assign instruments or types of instruments nowadays whereas before when i was in school it was almost like a round robin where you had like these little buckets of chemical where you would sanitize each mouthpiece and r rinse it in the sink and then you would try the different instruments between woodwind brass and even percussion where you had to, you got to try all the different instruments to figure out which one you really wanted to play now well right now because of covid and all its restrictions and the fear of contamination and all the students now are not allowed to do that so the teacher has to kind of show them what each instrument does how it sounds like and then pretty much ask them okay which one do you want to play without even them trying it so my son chose three different instruments one was tuba one was bassoon and one was one I can't remember. It was a very obscure, random instrument. I was like, what? <laughs> but then she randomly gave him trombone because she said he had an overbite and he could probably do well with trombone. And so I went and bought all the things, you know, that he needed and he just did not like it. And I think because he had a hard time figuring out the positioning of the slide on the trombone, so he could not make sounds the, like the sounds that he wanted to or that he was supposed to make and I b remember when I was in beginning band the trombones had the hardest time out of everybody and I don't so I don't blame him for not doing well in it because it's a hard instrument I, I give credit to any trombone player out there because figuring out where to position the slide and then adjusting your mouth or embouchure to play the note I give you credit man because I couldn't do that I couldn't even buzz so therefore brass was not in my cards at all and so um i asked her if we could switch him over to saxophone or percussion because at least with percussion i don't i know rhythm i can help him with that and he did want to play percussion but my but the band director she was actually my band director when i was in seventh grade a long time ago and she goes no you you should he should do saxophone because you can help him better and so what makes it convenient though is that he doesn't need to lug his instrument back and forth from school because I have one here that he can play. I let him use my marching horn because I told him he's not allowed to use my concert horn until, unless he's serious, but otherwise he can use my marching horn until he gets better. It's only beginning band, so whatever. And so anyway, he's been practicing and just hearing the songs and things from beginning band is bringing back memories. <laughs> My mom even came over. She goes, oh, I know that song. <laughs> and it's funny because my band, the band director uses the same book when I was going there. So, of course, it's all going to be the same songs. <laughs> and so anyway, because he's going through all this and um, it makes me remember all my great times in band. And so I wanted to kind of delve back into this a little bit since I'm kind of li reliving it again. And so with my little Zillas... I wanted him playing, of course, a saxophone because that's what I played when I was in school. And so they are at the top playing the saxophone. And I wanted to draw little illustrations about band and our, my life in band. The first, uh, and I kind of wanted to draw it as a stationary or journaling block. Not that they're sized particularly for any journal. I just drew little boxes and because I've been watching a lot of stationary videos and it looks really nice all lined up like that. So... So I did that. And so the first block I put practice and it's a little Zilla practicing and all the, the, the music stands in the front. Um, and then the second one, Don't Crack, that it's, I drew that because that 
I, the other day when my son was practicing, I heard the reed hit the stand and I heard that familiar fuck. And that sound is like the one sound that makes me cringe. I'm like, ooh, ooh, I broke the reed again. <laughs> or somebody broke their reed. Every time you heard that sound, everybody paused and looked like, ooh, what happened? <laughs> so that's, that's why I drew that. And then, of course, being in band, I was also in marching band. When I got into high school and all through college, I was in marching band. And so um, I drew that little marching to my own beat little square. And also, I drew the halftime show square where there's the flag hitting him on the head. And not that I've ever been hit on the head. I've been pretty close. But I just, whenever we were in marching band, I did not like uh, marching near the, the flags because... You know, it's not their fault. They don't, they, they, they're not in control of the wind. And sometimes the flag gets blown off course and they have to run and catch it, you know. And then the next square, I just drew a little um, square that says, and the beat goes on. Because I'm always um, telling my son, you can't stop. You got to keep playing because the beat keeps going. So if you stop, you're going to be late. And that also goes if you fall down on the field. The, the song keeps going. They don't stop. <laughs> and... On the next block, I, I I did a I looked up a pun and I thought this was really cute. This is stop, you're under arrest. <laughs> and the next block that I did was a clock on a wall that says early is on time and on time is late. And basically this is what my band director told us every time somebody was late. And even in the beginning of school, it was like that was his one rule. Early is on time, on time is late. He did not tolerate people being late because you, there's no excuse, right? If you're early, you'd be on time. If you're actually on time, that means you're late because you're not ready to play, right? So, and if you notice the little repeats on the outside of on time, if you know how to read music, you know it repeats. Early is on time, on time is late. And of course, the last square, Band Geek for Life. <laughs> And if you are in band and you know what the music on the top right of the spread plays or what it is playing, write it in the comments below. I'm kind of curious of, of all the other band geeks out there. And what did you play? I'm kind of curious what, if you played in band or orchestra, what did you play? But anyway, um, I wanted to color this in as well. I did outline it in all black ink because for my other Zillas, I outlined it in gray, but this time I did it in black just to kind of see the color contrast and how it would look. I do kind of prefer it outlined in gray because it's not as harsh, but it still looks okay in black. And so I decided again to use my alcohol pens. I was considering using color pencil, but I thought, eh, let's just stay with the alcohol pens. And so I use the same color scheme as my little Zillas on my previous spread. And I added a few other colors in there to kind of give it a, a color scheme. And so I tried to stick with the muted grayish colors of the pinks and the greens and the yellows. And I think it came out really nice. It's a very um, uh, easy spread to look at to me anyway. I'm not sure what anybody else thinks. <laughs> I hope you liked this video that I made of my practice makes better of my little Zillas that I want to continue to explore and draw more of. And for this day 8 of my thankful vlogmas, I just wanted to say how thankful I am for my days I had in band. It was some of the best years of my life. I think back on it very fondly. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can see more videos from me doing art <laughs> or rediscovering art. And with that said, you know what to do. Just keep drawing. And this art break is done. Bye, guys.